Masechet Kedushin, Perik Aleph, Mishnah, Vav. Sixth Mishnah in the first chapter of Masechet Kedushin. We're not going to talk about a, uh, a, a Kenya and another Kenya called Chalipin, Khalifa. La Khalif means to switch. So that means, well, I, I talked about before if the, when, we, when we talked about the, uh, the picking up of the, 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 the Hagba'a, the Shuit Fahim, I talked before about when you pick up the pen, you give the, you give the, you give the Chametz. So it, that's not Hagba. When you pick up the cell phone, that's Hagba. When I pick up the pen, though, I don't intend to be counted a pen. The pen is a symbol that transfers something in its representative. It's chalipin. Okay, the rabbi gives me the pen, I pick it up, and I give him something in return. It's actually a huge machloket. Is he giving it to me, or am I picking it up? Whatever, we're not going to get into that, but the mission says, kol ana'ased damim ba'acher. Something becomes money or value in, in, in as, a, as a switch to something else. Kivan she'zachazeh, since a, man A, is zocheh, meaning receives, the other person has to give him the other thing in return. I've got a cell phone here. You have been somewhere else. He says, give me the cell phone. So he says, okay. As soon as I, if we do it in Chalipin, when I get the cell phone, the guy gets the cell phone from me, the beans become his. Whatever, right. They switch the beans or whatever. Whoever is, who, you get the point. Okay? When I get his cell phone, my beans are in, I don't know, in Yad Binyamin. I'm, I'm now in Ottawa. Okay, so since I'm Zachazeh, since I get the, I got his cell phone, I have to give him my beans in Yad Binyamin. Ketan, Hichlif, Shor Bipara, Ocham, or Bishor, if we're switching an ox for a cow, or a donkey for an ox. Kevan Shazachazeh, one guy, as soon as the guy gets the one of them, that's called Kinyan Chalipin. That's called Kinyan Chalipin, uh, the Kinyan of switching. Okay, the Bartudor says, Kalon, Kalomak. Kevan Shemashach Echad. Since he did Meshicha of one, Nitchayev Ha'echev Bechalipin, the other one, Nitchayev, it belongs to him, Bechol Makom Shem, wherever it are, wherever it is. Imeto Abdo, if it's lost, the person who, he never, might have never seen the, the animal, lightning struck, uh, wolves came and ate it. It didn't belong to the original owner, it belonged to the person after they switched it. Ba'afalpi Shalom Mashach, even though he didn't actually do Meshicha, he didn't do pulling it. Meshicha Tamocher et Hasudar, Oh, at the see this word kinyan sudar when he picks up the, the the handkerchief. I don't have one with me. Or the chayvitz when he picks up the pen. Okay, nikna mekach lelokach v'chol makom shu. That's why when I give the rabbi gives me his pen, I pick up the pen, I switch him, and I say, you now have ownership over my cabinets where my chametz are. Okay, the afapi she'en b'chayvitz shekoni b'shav aputa. Even if the pen isn't worth a puta, but the condition of chalipin is revad shloya matbeya o peros. It can't be money. Can't do chalipin bekesef. The reason is because in their times, you, chalipin is a, you have to do a kinyan on the object. But in money, the, we, we focus not on the the value of money is not in the in the in the coin itself, but it's the shape on the coin. It's not in the paper, but it's on the in the in the art on the paper. You know, one piece of paper says nothing. Another piece of paper says this is one dollar, or ten dollars, or a thousand dollars. So money doesn't work. Okay, chusmi matbeya she'ina nikna bechalipin. There's no Kinyan Chalipin for money. Okay, that's the, the Mishnah, that's the Kinyan of Chalipin. What about, what about Kinyan of Hegdish? Rishut Gavboha. If the guy, if, if Hegdish wants to buy an animal, let's say the Gabai, he's called the Gizbar, he wants to buy an animal in order for a Korbano, Bekesef. Normally we say, we said Metalzin is not Nikna Bekesef, but we said for Rishut Gavboha, okay, Gizbar, Shanatan Ma'ot, the Sir Hegdish, Afiva Besofa Olam, Kana, he gets Kinyan Kesef. Remember we said, but a normal person, not the Gizbar, not the Gabai of Beit HaMikdash, okay, that's only with Chazaka. And he says something really interesting. Even if, they're very interesting, he says, okay, he says, if there's no Meshicha, okay, oh, he says, interesting, if you paid for something, if you didn't do, if you didn't do Meshicha, the guy can give you back the money, but that's she, that's not good. Sarif Kabbalah Allah Mishapara. Mishapara is the opposite of Mishabera. Mishabera is like, oh, whoever, Hakadosh Baruch Hu gave the blessing to Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, you should get a blessing too because you're a great guy. Mishapara is the exact opposite. A person, Hakadosh Baruch Hu, who paid back Paro and Haman and all those terrible people, should pay back this guy for going back against his word. That's if you already gave money. But if you didn't give money, even though we agreed on a price, even though we shook, even though whatever, Shook. We agreed on a price and everybody saw it. Ain't but Eilad, Divine Kulum, it doesn't mean anything. And if really Misha Para, anything, the 
Maybe Shafar. There's no going back if you didn't actually do a kinyan or some kind of symbolic thing. So Bishut HaGavoah Bekesef. If the Gizbar pays money for Gavoah, for the Beit HaMikdash, for God, that's his money, that's kinyan. Bishut HaHedyot Bechazaka. You have to do a chazaka, you have to do a kinyan in order to make an effective kinyan. But in Hedesh, Amirato LaGavoah Kemesibato LaHedyot. If I, person would say, theoretically, I give myself under the Beit HaMikdash to God, it's as if you gave it, and, and it belongs to God. Omer shor ze ola, bayit ze hegdesh. My shor, this animal goes for an ola. This house is hegdesh. Afilu besof olam kana. It belongs to God. Ube hegdesh lo kana ad shimshoch v'yatati. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning. The memory of my father, Rav Simcha B'Yitzchak Kalman.